Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one car, two bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym so insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with the two car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Our friends, they are sweet. Yeah. I'll get the rest of them here.
Junior Senior High School and tonight's Hoosier North Athletic Conference matchup between the visiting Triton Trojans and your Pioneer Panthers. Should be a good matchup tonight. You can see here the records on the screen. The Trojans coming in at 18-1, and 5-0 in Hoosier North Conference play this season, taking on the 17-10, 6-0 Pioneer Panthers. For the Panthers, if they win this one, they are the 2023 Hoosier North Athletic Conference champions by themselves, undefeated. They're looking to wrap up another undefeated conference season. Would be their fourth in a row. The last conference loss that the Pioneer Panthers suffered was back in the 2018 season where they lost to eventual 2A state champion North Judson. Of course, that was the state runner-up team of 2018 for the Panthers. So it was a really, really good year for the Hoosier North Conference back in 2018. Of course, the Panthers, the 2020 uh, 1A uh, state champions, and they want to uh, try and make some noise this year in Class 2A. They will be hosting sectional play here at Pioneer in just a few weeks. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty, the end of the season. For Triton coming in undefeated, they have uh, one more game after tonight, so they have to win tonight against Pioneer, and then they've got another big test coming up on Tuesday as they travel to Caston. Caston also with only one loss to this Pioneer Panthers team in conference play. So Triton trying to uh, fight for a share of the conference title tonight. The Panthers trying to lock it down and take it home here tonight. They could wrap things up and get another conference championship trophy in the trophy case here tonight so should be a good one pioneer has not lost in a best of five match this season all of their losses have come in tournaments and they've been in some big ones they've been to franklin central they've been to lcc they've been to harrison they've been to leo and of course the loss in the cass county tournament to caston but they got the retribution in the regular season matchup coming back and winning that one in three sets for the panthers they have not gone past three sets in any five-set match. So they've won all of their five-set matches 3-0. Uh, for Triton, their only loss of the season came to Mishawaka. They've had they've had a couple close calls. They've had uh, two, three and two matches against ECA and Culver. And we're going to turn it over here to Mr. Walker and get the starting lineups and the national anthem. Number 21, Leo. 
Close that mixer out. No. And then you can. Just hit overlay. All right, there are your starting lineups for the Triton Trojans. It's going to be Buells, Hensley, Veers, Veers, Snyder, and Dahl, with the libero being Sierra Hawley. For your Pioneer Panthers, Adinger, Borges, Grigsby, Rance, Rogers, and Nyes. The libero is Adeline Kripe. Got the Pioneer TV crew here tonight helping us out. Really appreciate everybody for uh, coming out here on a Tuesday evening. Helping out with the broadcast. Got Triton's group here doing their broadcast. So it's a big night here. We've got camo night, it looks like, for the uh, student section. So they're all decked out in camo. I guess I can't see them. They're over there hid. But uh, this one should be a really good matchup here tonight. The conference championship is on the line. If the Panthers win, they are outright conference champions for 2023. Triton needs to win this one and Tuesday night at Caston in order to share the conference championship. So it will be the Triton Trojans with the serve first here. Lena Dahl back to serve for the Trojans as we get set to go here with the varsity matchup. JV Pioneer 1 in 2 to take that match. That's going to be out off the tip point for the Panthers. JV won 25-17, 25-24 to take the contest. So one nothing lead here for the Panthers as Kirsten Nyes goes back to serve for Pioneer. And that one is going to be in. Addison Veers finds the line. Gets the point for the Trojans. That will put Hannah Snyder back to serve for the Trojans. And Grants, and it's wide, so it's going to be a point for Triton. 2-1 here for the Trojans. Another serve coming up for Hannah Snyder. The senior setter for the Trojans sends it across the line. Tipped across by Veers. And Rogers tips it back, and the Trojans can't get it back across, so Pioneer evens it at two. That will bring in Lois Lair, and Adeline Kripe will go back to serve here for the Panthers. Kripe sends it across the net. Tip Veers, she finds a gap. Addison Veers puts that one down. Hensley back to serve for the Trojans, the middle hitting senior. Grigsby off the block and down. Evens it at three. Brooklyn Borges will check into the game for Lair. Six foot senior. Kinsey Rogers sends it across the net for the Panthers. Veers off of Nyes and out of bounds. Another kill for Addison Veers. Makes it 4 3. That will be Addison Veers back to serve now for the Trojans. Borges dug out by Veers. That's going to be three. They can't get it across. Good hit there by Brooklyn Borges. That will put Elizabeth Rance back to serve for the Panthers. 4-4 four, four here in set number one. Off the block. Kripe keeps it alive.
Cross quarter, and it's too wide for the Panthers, so the point goes over to the Trojans. Grigsby couldn't uh, find that sideline for Pioneer. Back to serve now is Maya Davis, the opposite hitting junior for Triton. Left-hander sends it across. Down off the block is Borges with the kill. 5-5. Bulis checks back in <clears throat> for Triton. Blair Grigsby, the senior, back to serve now for the Panthers. And that's going to be into the net for Grigsby. Back out in front are the Trojans. And that one's going to go wide. Point for the Panthers, even it back up at six. That'll send Brooklyn Borges back to serve. Good serve by Borges, pushes the defense back for the Trojans. Rogers finds the in line, puts it down for the kill. 7 6, Pioneer. Or just sends it across. Another good serve by the senior. Tight to the net. Rogers able to get it across with the left hand. Blocked at the net and out of bounds off the block. It's going to be a point for the Trojans. Took a second there for the call to come through. 7 7. Back to serve now is Lena Dahl, the senior. Oh, a little bit of a miscommunication there, and Grigsby mishits it off of her knuckles. Lena Dahl back to serve again for the Trojans. Kylie Adinger tipped across. Good play there, keeping that alive. That was Hannah Snyder keeping that one going for the Trojans. Now a two-point advantage. As Dahl sets up to serve again here for the Trojans. Rogers off the block and out. Panthers break the Trojans serve. Back to serve now again is Kirsten Nyes, the junior daughter of Coach Rod Nyes. Ah, oh, beautiful serve. The ace for Nyes. Evens us at nine. Rance puts it down. Trojans get the dig. Hawley with the nice dig for Triton. Adinger off the block. Trojans keep it alive. Free ball across. Rance and off of Hawley and down for the kill. Three straight points here for the Panthers. Puts them back out in front, 10-9. And Nyes will set up for the serve. Down off the block. That was Rogers. Panthers in front, 11-9. Nye sends it across, off the tape.
Free ball from Rogers, and it goes down. Rogers free balls it across, and Bulis can't dig it out. Five straight now for the Panthers. Gives them a three-point lead after they trailed 9-7. to seven. Nyes with another beauty. It's an ace. And it's going to be a timeout here, I believe, for the Trojans as they uh, have given up six straight points and now trail 13-9 to nine here in set number one. We'll take a quick break and come back with more here from the Palace in just a moment. All right, welcome back here to the Palace at Pioneer Junior Senior High School. After trailing 9-7, the Panthers go on a 7-0 run, now lead 13-9 here in set number one. And it's been Kirsten Nye. She's got three beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> she, she's had some really good serves. She's got three aces off of this service set. Rance off the block. Scrambling. Rance can't get to it. So the Panthers out of the timeout. The Trojans break their serve, and they break that 6-0 run. Still trailing by three. Back to serve now for Triton is Hannah Snyder. The rolling shot by Adinger, dug out by the Trojans. Blocked, but it's going to drop out of bounds. Point for the Trojans. Now two straight points got, has them back to within two. Snyder back to serve. Rance. Puts it down. They got a net call on the Triton Trojans anyway. That will send Adeline Kreit back to serve for the Panthers. 14-11 in set number one. Panthers looking to complete an undefeated conference season with the win here tonight. Trojans looking to keep their hopes of a conference championship alive. And that's going to be another point for the Panthers. Triton has to win here tonight and then go on the road on Tuesday night against Caston and win in order to share a piece of the conference title for the Panthers. They will win it outright with a victory here tonight. Veers tips it across. Off the block. Dug out by Lair. And Rance into the net. Macy Hensley, the senior, back to serve. And she's into the net. Holly comes back in for Hensley. Back to serve now is Rogers for the Panthers. Coming back in for the Panthers is Brooklyn Borges. Rogers into the net. So a pair of service uh, errors by both teams. Gives the ball back over and veers back to serve now for the Trojans. Rance can't get on top of it and it's going to sail long. Oh, they're going to say it was tipped. It was tipped at the net. I didn't see that. They're going to give the point to the Panthers. So Rance back to serve now. Panthers in front, 17-13. Nice, off the block and down.
18-13, Rance sends it across the net. Not well played there by Snyder, as that's going to go out for an ace for Rance. And off the block and out. So the Trojans will get the serve back. Trailing by five. My Davis back to serve for Triton, the junior opposite hitter. In more ways than one, shoots it left-handed across the net. Oh, a little back tip by Borges. That was a beauty, Clark. Wow. Grigsby with the serve. Rogers gets the dig. Borges tips it and down. Oh no, the Panthers are in the net. Beautiful play there by Borges, but the Panthers in the net. So the point goes to the Triton Trojans, 20 to 15. Back to serve is number 18, Avery Veers. Younger sister of Addison Veers. And that one's going to sail long there. Kylie Adinger couldn't get over the top of that one. Cuts that lead down to four for the Panthers. Avery sends it across. Hits the tape. Rance able to get the dig. And Borges puts that one home. Brooklyn Borges, the Ohio Christian commit. Puts that one home, and she'll go back to serve for the Panthers. She's going to be joining the former teammate, Madison Blickenstaff, at Ohio Christian next year, down in the, I think it's kind of in between uh, Columbus and Cincinnati. And that one's going to sail long, 22-16. Panthers inching close to a first set victory here, leading by six. Borges with the serve. Rogers, big hit, dug out by the Trojans. Off the block. Panthers get the dig. Free ball from Nyes. Off the block. Another dig by the Trojans. Good job by Grigsby keeping that one out of the net. Tipped. Nyes. Boy, Nyes has some athletic ability getting that one. And off of the dig. With the kill, the Trojans put that one home. Dahl goes back to serve, 22-17 here in set number one. And down. Nice with the serve. Down for the Panthers. That was Rogers. Set point here for the Panthers. Nice with the serve. 24-17. Takes some off of that one, sends it short. Veers, dug out by the Panthers. Rance, down off the block, and a point, and the Panthers take set one, 25-17, and lead one set to zero as we move into set number two. We'll take a break and come back here in a moment on Pioneer TV. Back here at Pioneer Junior Senior High School in the Palace here in the high school, the 
Pioneer Panthers take set one, 25-17. And as we get ready for set number two, Kirsten Nyes finished us off in set number one. She will start us off here in set number two. And Nyes not able to get that dug. So the Trojans get the first point of this set. So Lena Dahl back to serve here for the Trojans. Avenger dug out by Beulahs. And Veers puts that one home in the corner. Addison Veers with the big hit. Just kind of going around through some of the teams that we've seen this season on RTC4 and the games that we've done in volleyball. We were talking Northfield, uh, 1A school. They've got, there's a block and down. Trojans off to a quick start here in set number one, or set number two, 3-0. Anyway, I was going with the Northfield Norse. They've got a really big lineup, but I think this Triton lineup for a 1A school, uh, they've got as much or maybe more size than that Northfield team has. They're a pretty big uh, squad. Only one loss on the season. It's going to be a tough tournament for both of these teams. 1A and 2A is stacked in the North this year. You know, 1A, you've got teams like Northfield and Southwood. Uh, Culver is a very good team that's in the Triton sectional as well. you got Marquette that's doing really well up in uh, Michigan City. You know, for Pioneer and 2A, they've got, you know, a really good Wabash team that will be coming here for sectional play. Uh, you, you've got uh, Cherubusco. you got Wapahani. You've got South Central still undefeated on the season up in Porter County. So, not going to be an easy road for either one of these teams once we get into tournament time, but both of them have been battle-tested this season, and uh, we'll see what they can do. This Pioneer team, of course, two years off of a state championship, but they have not won a sectional since uh, that 2020 season. So they're hungry, especially these seniors. They want to get back on that, uh, that sectional trophy back in their hands. And Triton is uh, making some noise here in set number two, leading five to one. And Hannah Snyder back to serve for the Trojans. Grigsby, and that's, that's out. So six, one, Snyder sends it across. And Lair can't get that one, Doug. See how long Coach Nyes lets this go here before a timeout. 7-1 here in the second set. Snyder sends it across. And Grigsby ends the serve of the Triton Trojans. That will send Rogers back to serve. That will also bring in Brooklyn Borges as Lois Lair takes a break. And Rogers with the serve. That one dug out by Kripe off of the big hit by Veers. That one dug out by Nyes. Roll shot by Rance. Veers into the net, tried to take something off of that one and change it up, but took a little bit too much off of that one. And the Panthers back to within four here as Rodgers gets set to serve. Boy, almost a ding-dong there by the Trojans, able to get underneath that. Set and the quick hit off of the short set. Couldn't see who that was off of uh, off of that. It was a beautiful hit, but right in front of the uh, the judge is right in front of me there. I couldn't see. The, I think that was gorgeous, but I'm not 100% sure. 
Could have been Rance, too. Could have been Grigsby. I'm guaranteeing you, though, it was one of the Panthers. Back to serve is Hensley. And down. That was gorgeous. Panthers back to within three. Rance back to serve for the Panthers. Veers, and that's wide. And down off the block, Veers puts that one home. The kill for Addison Veers. And a dump on two. Grigsby puts it down. And Grigsby will go back and serve. The score right. I thought we were closer than that. 9-7? Okay. Nine eight. It wasn't right. Okay. Seemed like we were missing one. Adinger dug out. Oh, good play there by Rogers. Somehow gets that one dug, and that's going to go out. Rogers, what a dig by Mackenzie Rogers on that play. Somehow even gets it across the net, and the Panthers get the point, and we are all tied at nine. And now the Triton Trojans need to take a timeout. 9-9 nine, nine here in set number two. And we will take a quick break and come back with more here from Pioneer High School in just a moment. Welcome back here, Pioneer High School in set number two. Big Hoosier North Conference matchup tonight between the Panthers and the Trojans. Pioneer has battled all the way back. They were down 7-1. to one, And now it is tied 9-9. Nine nine. If my math serves me right, that's a 8-2 to two run for the Panthers. And Grigsby back to serve off of the Triton timeout. And the dump shot is in for Maya Davis to break that serve and give the Trojans back the lead. Davis will go back to serve now for Triton. Left-hander sends it across the net, hits the tape. Grigsby gets the dig. Adinger, dug out by Hawley. And the Panthers get the point as that one goes wide. 10-10, Borges back to serve now for the Panthers. Oh, beauty for, beautiful, I gotta get my English bad, doing better here tonight, sorry. Beautiful serve by Borges. And a net violation by the Trojans. Believe it or not, I don't call a lot of games anymore because I just don't get a chance to. So it's kind of like riding a bike, but apparently I fell off the bike there for a second. Nice. Good hit there. Dug out by Veers. Free ball from the Trojans. The roll shot down off the block and out. That's going to be another point for the Panthers. Now in front, two, 12 to 10. Another good serve there by Borges. Trojans scrambling just to get that one across. Nice out of the net. Beautiful play there by Kirsten Nice, keeping that one alive. 
Rodgers pushes it across. And that one put down by Lena Dahl. Avery Veer is the sophomore younger sister of Addison. And back to serve. Good serve there. Nye is able to, oh. I don't know if Kirsten got into the net or if that was Kylie, but uh, not a real. Oh, no, it was, it was on Triton. Sorry. Never mind. Triton was in the net. And that one is put home by Hensley. Thirteen twelve, set number two, Trojans lead, or the Panthers lead the Trojans twenty one set to zero. They won twenty five seventeen in set number one, was what I was trying to say. Down off the block, Veers gets the dig. Veers off the block. And the dump, and it's out. Thirteen, thirteen. Dahl back to serve. And into the net, Adinger. Trojans back out in front one. Nice gets the dig. Whoa, good dig. Still alive. <laughs> Great job by Kripe getting that dig. That was a big hit there by Veers. Two hits. You can actually do that, but she already hit it once. So that was considered two hits, even with the kick attempt there by Rance. She did that in a match earlier this season and was able to keep the ball alive. It's legal. We didn't know that until we saw her do that. Okay. 15-13, Dahl with the serve. Veers puts it down. Triton back out in front, three. Rogers able to put that one home. Breaks the Triton serve. Panthers back to within two. Lois Layer back in, her cousin. Adeline Kripe back to serve. And Kripe with the ace. Veers puts that one home. Nice tried to give it a dig, but not able to get that one back into play. Trojans get the serve back. Coming in to serve is Hannah Snyder. Trojans in front 17-15 here in the second set. Short set. Rance tips it across. Veers dug out by Kripe. 
And we're going to have a double hit called on the Panthers. Triton back in front by three. Snyder sets, sends it across. Grigsby, can the Trojans get it back over? They do, it's a free ball. Rogers, roll shot down off of the block. That is Veers and Hensley with the block. And Coach Nyes is going to take a timeout as they trail 19-15 to the Trojans here in set number two. We'll take a break. Be back in just a moment. Back here at Pioneer High School as the Trojans have opened up a four-point lead here in set number two, 19-15, trying to even out the match after the Panthers took set number one, 25-17. Coach Nyes takes a timeout here. Let's see if the Panthers can get the service back out of this timeout. Hannah Snyder at the service line for the Trojans. And probably not the result that Coach Nyes wanted coming out of that timeout as that one just goes right in between Nyes and Kripe and drops for a clean ace. Score should be 20 to 15. That's what we got on our scoreboard. There they go. They added it on the scoreboard here in the school. A little slow on that one. And that one's out. Ooh. It's now a six point lead for the Trojans and they're only four away from taking the set. Left-hander from Grigsby. Rance. Beers goes in two. Down off the block, Grigsby with the kill. Well, the Panthers needed that in a terrible way. Finally breaking that serve, 21-16 as Mackenzie Rogers. The Vanguard recruit, she'll be heading out to Cali next year to play volleyball at Vanguard University. I think that's a LA area college. Oh, Grigsby can't get the block. Tried to tip that one back over on the overpass and just drops it right in front of the uh, net there. Hensley will be serving with the Trojans in front, 22-16. Dahl not able to dig out that shot by Borges. We'll put Elizabeth Rance back to serve for the Panthers. Out of the middle, a little poke across by Addison Veers. Didn't even really get a swing on it, just kind of pokes it, but she found the opening in the defense. Now the Trojans are two away from evening us at one set apiece. And off the block and down from the back row was Nyes. I will put Grigsby back to serve for the Panthers. Borges puts that one home. Brooklyn Borges with the kill. And Triton wants a timeout as the Panthers have come back to within four here in set number two, 23-19. We'll take another quick break and be right back. Welcome back here to the Palace at Pioneer High School. Set number two, 
Trojans lead 23-19. Panthers lead the match one set to zero. Pioneer has inched their way back into this one here. They are within four. Triton had to call a timeout. No room for error here for the Panthers, though. And a hit short into the net. 23-20. You're looking for a good service run here. Blair Grigsby is the one I would want on that line. She is a very consistent server, and I shouldn't have said that. Oh. I couldn't have got any more of a jinx on her. I'm sorry, Blair Bow. So we have set point for the Trojans here in set number two. Davis sends it across. The roll shot down, and it's going to be a point. And the Triton Trojans take set number two, 25-20. And we are tied at one set apiece here at the Palace. We'll take a break. Go ahead and open up another ad pack. Be right back. All right, welcome back here to Pioneer Junior Senior High School as we move into set number three, all tied at one set apiece. Pioneer one set one, 25-17. Triton got out to a quick lead in set number two before the Panthers battled back, but the Trojans stayed strong and won set number two, 25-20. So we're going to go at least four here tonight. Wouldn't expect uh, anything less here from two very, very good teams. They're not going to uh, give up on this one. On either side of the net, Lena Dahl back to serve to start us off here in set number three for the Triton Trojans. Tipped across. Veers, dug out by Rance, and that's going to be out. Hit long that time by Rogers. And the Trojans in the net. So Kirsten Nye is back to serve. Grants down off of the dig attempt by Dahl. And the Panthers take the 2-1 lead. And the ace. Snyder going to come in for Westifer. Three-one Panthers. Nyes with the serve. Off the tape and down. That's almost an impossible shot to defend when it hits the tape like that and just drops down on the other side. Off of that serve, you're expecting it to land well far of where it did. Just able to get underneath that one. It's going to be a free ball if they can get it across, and they do. Rogers, a little dump, and drops it down. 5-1. Five 0 -oh run here by the Panthers. Oh. 
And in the net are the Trojans. And a quick timeout here by Triton. Six straight by Pioneer has them in the lead, six to one, here early in set number three. We'll take a break. Come back with more from Pioneer High School in just a moment. Welcome back to Pioneer High School here in set number three. The Panthers off to a quick start here, six to one. Triton got the first point, but six straight for the Panthers. Force a timeout by the Triton Trojans. Veers dug out by Nyes, tipped across by Rogers, and down. Great dig by Nyes and a great dump by Rogers. Trojans still not able to get Kirsten Nyes off of the service line. Another one off the tape and down. I don't know that that's what she drew up, but it worked. Second one in this set for Nyes going down off the tape for an ace. Okay, now she's just drawing it up. Now she's just... 9-1. That one is an overpass. Grants tipped over. Panthers keep it alive. Adinger and we got a net violation again by the Trojans. Ten in a row here in set number three for the Panthers. They cannot get Kirsten Nyes off of the service line. Veers. Nice has to come clear across the floor. And unfortunately, Rance can't get it across. And they break the serve finally of Kirsten Nyes. But the Panthers are in front 10 to 2 here in set number three. Snyder back to serve for Triton. the battle at the net. That one is won by Hensley. Adinger wide. Snyder for the kill. Makes it 11-4. Makes up for that shot that went wide. The senior Kylie Adinger putting that one down. Pierce off the block. Rance gets the dig. Rance blocked. Dug out by Kripe. Tipped over. That one's tight. And it's in the net for Pioneer. Hensley back to serve for Triton. Grigsby blocked. Dug out by Lair, but not able to get that one back across. Veers with the kill for the Trojans. Four one run here by Triton has them back to within five. 
Back set, Rance, and Rance puts it down. The board just comes in for Layer. Rogers back to serve for the Panthers. Rance tips it. Rance finds a gap, puts it down, 13-6. And down. Triton's back row was just frozen on that one. I don't know what happened there. They didn't uh, react to that. Back up to an eight-point advantage here for the Panthers. Veers tips it down. Panthers keep it alive. Off the block. And it's going to drop. Triton has already used one of their timeouts here in the third set. They've only got one more, so we'll see how long they can go before burning that last timeout. 15 to 6. Advantage here for the Panthers. And a double hit called on the Trojans. And we're going to have a substitution. Coming in, number five, Clara Dahl, a sophomore. And she's going to replace Lena Dahl. That's not going to make for a happy supper table when they get home. Somehow the Panthers able to keep that one alive. Tipped across. Pioneer regroups and the tip across by Rance into the net. So Lena back in for Clara. Veers back to serve. I don't know what Pioneer didn't look like they were ready back there. I'm not sure what they were doing. The whistle had blown, so it was ready to go. I don't think Pioneer was. Borges off the block and down. Brooklyn Borges with the kill. That will send Rance back. The roll shot by Nyes, and it's going to drop. Kirsten Nyes puts that one down. Back up to 10-point lead here for the Panthers. 18-8. We are tied one set apiece. And Rance into the net. Westfer checks back in for the Trojans. Back to serve is Maya Davis. Rogers with authority puts that one home. Back up to 10 here as Blair Grigsby goes back to serve for the Panthers. And that one's down. Veers and she sends that one way long. I will put Brooklyn Borges back to serve here for the Panthers. And down. Triton thought that one was going long. 
Didn't make a play on it, and it drops right in on the uh, inside of the end line. And down off the block, the kill that time for Hensley. Lena Dahl will serve for the Trojans, 21-11 in favor of the Panthers here in set number three. Bad pass from Grigsby. Somehow Nice tracks that down and Grigsby gets the free ball across. Veers off of Grigsby and down. Gorgeous, or uh, Roger, sorry, off the block. Adinger tipped and down. 22-12. I will put Kirsten Nyes back at the service line for the Panthers. She had a great run, her first service in this set, and it starts off good again, 23-12 with that one. Only need two more here for the Panthers to take set number three and a commanding two-to-one lead here in this big Hoosier North Conference matchup. Blocked, and it's gonna drop. I think that was Adinger on the block. And we've got set point here in the third set. Nice trying to finish this one off. And it's a butte dug out by the Trojans. Rance cross quarter is good. 25-12 and the Panthers take set number two and a commanding two sets to one lead here in the matchup. They're looking to close this one out in set number four when we get back here from Pioneer High School in just a moment. Welcome back here to Pioneer High School as we move into set number four. The Panthers take a commanding two sets to one lead. Trying to wrap this one up here in this set and wrap up a Hoosier North Conference championship with the win. Kind of tells you where my uh, my video crew is with this Pioneer team. We talked about they have not had to go into a fourth set uh, yet in a five-set match, everybody was getting ready to pack up and go. Like uh, we're not done yet, guys. So uh, they didn't uh, they didn't realize that uh, you know hey we, there's actually more than three sets in a match. So Kirsten Nyes starts us off here in the fourth set. Nice keeps it alive. Grigsby gets it over to Rance. Off of the block. Trojans able to keep it alive. They free ball it across. And we're going to get a double called on Pioneer to start it off. Trojans started off with the first point in the last set, but then Pioneer rattled off 10 straight. to uh, just kind of open things up, and they never looked back from there, winning 25-12. So Pioneer won set one, 25-17. Triton came back, won the second set, 25-20. And Pioneer won set number three, 25-12, putting us here in set number four. Kripe with the kill. Wow, you don't see Adeline Kripe getting kill shot opportunities very often. But she's able to come up and put that one home. Veers off the block and down.
Snyder sends it across. Grigsby, good shot. And we got a net violation on Davis of Triton. Rogers with the serve. Veers off the block. Rance keeps it alive. Nice try. Oh, she got it across. How'd she do that? Again, off of the block, dug out by Nyes. Rance, oh, sets that one long. Boy, that one hit, I don't know how Nyes got that across the net. That was a very impressive shot. Kind of had herself twisted up like a pretzel. 3-3 here in the fourth set. Back to serve is Hensley. Grigsby dumps it in two. Off the block and down. Panthers regain the lead, 4-3. Rance with the serve. Veers hits it into the net. That's Avery Veers hits it into the net. So Panthers lead 5-3. And that one is put home by Addison Veers. Addison Veers sends it across. Nyes on the attack, off the block and down. Kirsten Nyes with the kill. Nice, almost got to that one there. Not able to quite track that one down. 6-5, Panthers with the lead. Maya Davis, left-hander, sends it across. Adinger hits it long. All tied at six. Just puts that one home. Back in front, one, seven, six are the Panthers. Jim Buells checks back into the lineup for the Trojans. Oh, off the net and down. Westifer was getting to her position there and it dropped right in behind her. Not really what you're looking for off of that shot when it hits that net like that. Good serve, drives the Trojans back. Free ball is the best they can do. Rogers puts that one home. McKenzie Rogers with the kill. Three straight now, back up to a three point lead for the Panthers. And off of the block and down, Rogers with another one. 10-6, I'm guessing maybe another point here if the Panthers get this one, they might see a Triton timeout. That one goes long. They'll send Avery Veers back to serve here for the Trojans. And 
Rodgers is another kill. Tipped across. Westerfer with the dump. Lena Dahl set to serve. Adinger gets on top of it. Veers finds an opening. Two straight. Now the Trojans are back to within two. We are in set number four here. The Panthers lead two sets to one and lead 11-9 here in the fourth set. Lena Dahl sends it across. Rance off the block and down. Elizabeth Rance gets the kill. Borges will rotate out. Lois Layer in. Addison Kreit back to serve for the Panthers. Oh, big block by Rogers. She's doing it all tonight. Rance shot down. Lead back up to four. Fourteen nine Pioneer. Just making a little note in here. Thirteen nine. We'll see if that comes true. Tell you about it at the end if it does. Down off the block. And down. And the Trojans take a timeout. Fifteen nine here in set number four. The Panthers in front. We'll take a break. And come back with more here from Pioneer High School. And Welcome back here to Pioneer High School. Five in a row for the Panthers. Back out in front now, 15-9. to nine. It was tied at six. Panthers got on, went on a run. Got up 11-7. Got back to within two at 11-9. And now uh, back up to six as the Panthers lead 15-9 with Addie Kripe on the serve. And Veers out of that timeout. She puts that one down with some authority. The senior really wants to try and make this one go five here for the Trojans. Hannah Snyder back to serve. This would be only the second loss of the season for the Trojans if they fall here tonight. It would be the first conference loss of the season for Triton. And another net violation here. If you're the Triton Trojans, I haven't been keeping track of these, but the net violations are just stacking up here tonight for Triton. They've got a lot of those. And it's got to get uh, a little bit frustrating as that one goes into the net for Rogers. So the serve back over to the Trojans and Macy Hensley back to serve. You know, both of these teams very senior dominated. Rance down, dug out. Great job of digging that out by Hawley. Tipped over by Borges. Grigsby able to keep it alive, but she sends it over onto the Triton side. And putting that one down is Davis for the kill. 16-12. 
Hawley back to serve now for the Trojans. Trying battling back to within four. Good dig by Kripe. Cross quarter. In. Rance with the serve, 17-12. Veers, nice, back across. And that one's going to go wide for Avery Veers. And Triton needs to take another timeout here. 18-12 here in set number four. We'll be right back. All right, back here at Pioneer High School, 18-12. The Panthers looking to close it out here in set number four, leading two sets to one over the Triton Trojans. Pioneer won set one, 25-17. Triton came back one set number two, 25-20. Pioneer won set number three, 25-12. The Panthers can pull this one out here. They will be the undefeated conference champions for 2023 in the Hoosier North Conference. See what the Trojans can do coming out of the timeout. That was their final timeout of the set. They burned both of their timeouts here in the last five points. And they get the point out of the timeout, breaking the serve of the Trojans. Panthers, sorry. Back to serve for the Trojans is Addison Veers. Borges dug out by the Trojans. Back to Nyes. Tipped across and Pioneer in the net. So two straight out of the timeout for the Trojans. They are back to within four. Addison Veers serves it for the Trojans. Nyes dumps it in two. Off the block. Trojans keep it alive, but they're going to be into the net. That was a great effort there, but just coming down over the net, over the line that time was uh, Maya Davis. So Blair Grigsby back to serve for the Panthers. And she serves up an ace. Blair Bow with the ace. Twenty to fourteen, five away from closing this one out, and winning the conference. And that one goes wide. Twenty-one fourteen. Triton is out of timeouts here in this fourth set. Trailing by seven. Grigsby with the serve. Off the block, Panthers keep it alive. Off the block again. They're going to say it was in the net, not off the block. So four hits. 21 15. Maya Davis getting set, sends it across. Adinger sails it wide. Twenty-one sixteen. Davis sets into the net. Twenty-two sixteen. That will send Borges back to serve. It's going to be a free ball if they can get it across. They do. Grigsby sets it. 
Oh, miscommunication there. And it's going to drop. The set was to nowhere. Avery Veers with the serve. Down off the block. Mac Rogers with the kill, 23 17. Allie West for checking back in for the Trojans. Back to serve. Kirsten Nyes. She started us off. See if she can finish it. Down off the block. Dug out at the net. Trojans keep it alive. Rance and down. And it's going to be a point for Triton. 23-18. Lena Dahl back to serve for the Trojans. Rance, Trojans keep it alive. Adinger dug out again. Veers goes long. Twenty-four eighteen. We have match point, set point, match point. Conference championship point, 24-18 here for the Panthers. Back to serve is the senior, Addison Kripe. Adeline Kripe. Too many Addison Adelines today. Puts it home, and the Panthers win. 25-18 in set number four. They win the match three sets to one. They are undefeated conference champions for 2023. Congratulations to the Pioneer Panthers. 7 and 0 in the conference, 18 and 10 overall for Triton. They dropped to 18 and 2 and 5 and 1 in the conference. They have one more conference matchup coming up next Tuesday. They go to Caston, both teams with one conference loss to the Pioneer Panthers. So they will be battling out for second place in the conference. We'll just keep it here for a minute as the Panthers line up for some pictures to celebrate their conference championship. So the Panthers win it here tonight. They won set one, 25-17. Triton did take one set, set number two, 25-20. Panthers came back in a big way in set number three, win 25-12, and then finish it off in set number four, 25-18.